We're here at Sebring. I'm Dan Johnson, and I'm talking with, well, not only a good guy in the aviation business, but it happens, a neighbor of mine, yeah, Ron are, Bishop. Yeah. So, Ron, I know you work a lot with the uh, folks at American Legend, and you've got the Cup, Creek Cubs business, but you got something else in your hand here that we got to look at, because the buzz in aviation these days is significantly what we sometimes call drones. Mm -hmm. And I'm doing that because there's like eight or nine different ways you can describe these things, but let's just call it a drone because that's easy. What can this thing do for us here? Now, we've seen them fly around, but tell us some details, Ron. Now, this particular drone is a, a cross between a toy and the next level into a commercial drone. Okay. Um, this is about a $1,500 machine. Okay. And the run, ones we use for commercial are anywhere from $3,000 to $10,000. Um, this uses a very, very nice camera. Uh, 4K camera. 4K. 4K. That little tiny thing? Is yeah, if you watch it. I mean, mostly what I'm seeing is gyros. The camera itself is really tiny. Oh, look at that thing holding itself still. Yeah, no matter you see, what you're these doing. are the gyros here. They're brushless gyros. And then it's got dampeners. Oh, I see. Okay. So you'll notice this wind we got going here is pretty significant. Yeah, it's a, it's a little windy here, no question. Mm -hmm. I'd look twice about flying before I did. Oh, you'll see and how. And this thing only weighs, what do you say it weighs, about four pounds? 3.2. 3.2 pounds. I would think it would be all over the place. You'll see. It, it, it will try to fly into the wind. It's, this is a photographic mission for these. People use them, some of them commercially, for real estate. Uh, we have a business that we use the five to seven thousand dollar drones with digital SLR cameras. Okay. Uh, for inspecting uh, cell towers. Oh, really? For lightning strikes, birds. So guys don't have to climb up them then. No, this has four motors. The Octos have eight. Ah, and that's what you use for that purpose. She'll D carry. That gives more stability or more weight. Uh, it'll carry nine kilos. Wow. So you can. Put, uh, Twenty it, pounds. Yeah. Right. That's yeah, a lot. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so it's used for a lot of uh, agriculture. Uh, inspections for uh, um, uh, fish and game, etc. But these are are also used commercially because the quality of these cameras. You can get them with two cameras. This one comes with it, and a lot of people have preference for the GoPro. Oh, I see. Okay, so you could have that if you wanted it. Mm -hmm. But this is a little higher end camera than. I think it is. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Four and 4K. For those that don't know, that's a step above. Uh, 1080p, it was a, sort of the standard now in TVs and stuff, but it's changing to 4K unless you've been hiding under a rock, you're probably aware of that. Yeah, that and this format, can shoot into that new format. Yeah, it shoots into that new format. Plus, people can use it for some high quality editing and stitch it together without, ah, okay. without a lot of uh, digital interference. I see, okay. All right, so let's go a little further with it here. How do you fly the thing? Um, you have a, here, you hold it. All right. Um, Fly it it with, is. It's not that heavy. No, it's not. You fly it with a with a joystick. Okay. Uh, this is the uh, this is a iPhone. Uh, okay. And then this is a Wi-Fi box. And it when you when we fly it in a moment, you'll be watching what it's seeing on the iPhone. Oh, okay. I'm going to see the image that this camera's got, which right now is me. Let's point it somewhere else. Okay. Yeah. And so what you do is you basically have uh, left. It has all axes: left, right. Up, down, y'all. Just turn. like a regular RC. Well, this is different. These are not. You can put this. Everybody who builds an RC plane is always crashing. Yeah, first thing you do is crash one. You right? crash them all. I think it says that in the manual. You, you can take this, put it in a hover, tell it to stow, stay there. I can walk back to my cub and come back and it'll still be here. <laughs> all right, I got to see that. It's just a, I don't believe it. Show, yeah. show me. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, so it's a very balanced. This has prop guards so that if you. Starting out, you don't uh, fly into bushes, and, and it's more conservative. Oh, okay, sure. I see how that would protect it. Does it do anything else besides just protect it? Is it? It, it, it does reduce the uh, the uh, performance a bit, but air towards safety when you're flying around here. Is yeah, it? sure, of course, and when you're new to it too, I guess. Yeah, Although it, you're saying it's not it's no, not so much user skill here, right? Well, the other thing is it can tip over, ah, and if yeah, the guards yeah. aren't here, the prop ah, gets sure. concrete immediately. So until you get Really yeah, because your base here is obviously a lot less than the total mm -hmm. disc area, I guess you'd still call it, even though it's mm -hmm. uh, four props. So, all right, so are we ready to go fly this thing? Mm -hmm. Any other preparation? Well, needed? prior to meeting up with you, what I did was I told it that this piece of ground we're standing on is its own location. Um, because if it loses contact with this for interference of any kind, the, the uh, copter takes over, says, you can't control me anymore, and it'll come back <laughs> and land right here. And um, so... 
we have to. That's too smart. I'm telling well, you. we have to sequence a few switches. So what do you have to do to say this is home? You take it and you you turn. It has a GPS right here. Okay, so you literally like turn it around and circles yeah, and stuff. That, okay, yeah. okay. And the flashing lights tell you right now that it's it has G okay. GPS. So here's the flashing lights down here by my thumb, and that's telling you it's got GPS, got satellite communication mm -hmm. now. So is it ready to fly now? Then? Uh, almost. I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, set it up so that it. Uh, we it's, talk to it. We okay. got to, We got to put it on Wi-Fi. So you're doing some of the control right through the phone. Right, right through the phone. So we got it all ready to fly now. Yeah, she's you, ready to you fly. Made it communicate to the it's, satellite. You can so see your feet here. Oh yeah. See, okay. Now watch the camera. It comes up. Oh yeah. Okay. So camera came at, up. At you. And so we're gonna show up my logo. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Just lay it on the ground. I'll do it. All right. You got. You got the airplane. I guess that's how they say it. Yeah. That'll work. GA. Um, you, now you look and. You can see that it's looking at those trucks. Oh yeah, okay. I see it looking okay. right over there, away from the camera. There so we're going to get it started. Fires up. Don't even hear anything yet, hardly. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's quiet. Now, if you look, you see we're looking at the trucks. Oh now, yeah. Now watch, watch where I make it wiggle, and look at you don't have any wiggle in it. Look at the look at the airplane. Oh yeah, it's dancing around now. Okay, so the camera may not see all this, but I'm looking at an iPhone screen. We're looking at these uh, vans over here, and they look really steady to me. And yet I can see the airplane moving around in the air, or the aircraft moving around the air a little bit. She's, she's leaning into the wind. Oh yeah, it's and, also got a tilt And the tilt horizontal to it. is completely perfect. Uh huh. See, the wind. Look, look at the and wind. And you're not doing anything to control this. No, the you, whole you time. hold it. <laughs> <laughs> well, now we're in a heap of trouble. <laughs> See, now she's not, you're not flying it. It's trying to stay where I left it. Ah, I see. Well, it's doing a darn good job here. Look at and look it. how buttery smooth that is. Yeah, that is very smooth. I don't know if that's showing up on the camera, but I can attest to the fact well, that we'll send you the it also says uh, distance and altitude and speed. And yeah, and battery life and how many satellites it has. Well, this is just too easy. This yeah. is for an RC guy that can't fly like me. We're in the sun, but it's photographing my cubs right now. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. See, and then I have a tilt angle. To you know, the camera now, your tilt angle. Yeah, that right? You watch it. Now watch me bring the camera down. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Fast and also smooth, though. I'm surprised how smooth it is. Yeah. That's it's, all the gyros doing the work in there that's making it so no, smooth? No, what's doing it is the differential thrust of the propellers. But well, he, but I mean the camera's perspective is oh, so yeah, smooth. Watch, that's where the gyros are working. Watch, what, Dan, watch the axis of the bird. Okay. Left, watching. right. Forward, reverse, and watch this. <laughs> See? Wow, that is funny. Now she's cool. leaning the other way into the wind. Right, I see it. But I look at it. the flight line. Wow, okay, looking at the iPhone camera, uh, iPhone view of the camera, it is really steady. I am really quite amazed at that. If the camera it's is, as though I, I don't think I can hold the camera much more still than that. Uh, no, you certainly can't. not at that altitude. Mm -mm. That is quite remarkable, actually. Yeah. Okay, it, so now to control it, uh, talk to me a little bit about control. I mean, I, you know, I understand RC control. And okay, you a, push this, the left stick forward. That's height. Okay, okay. so that's your throttle. Okay. And you bring it down. And that'll okay. lower. Okay. And this is this is the complete axis. Okay. Left, right on the throttle is the. Yeah, and it'll go the other way. Or and so that way. gives you another camera position. It gives there? you another camera position. Okay, because the camera doesn't turn all the way around. You just turn the yeah. aircraft around. Now. You know, to fly it away, you push it away from you. Okay. To bring it back, you pull the stick back to you. <laughs> you want it to go left, you go left. You want to go right. And meanwhile, you're not sitting here, the camera's not showing it, but you're not sitting here managing this thing that whole time. You're not even looking at it now. No, you, you, you can actually look, and I mean, look, just at, sitting look, up there look, look at the view. Come around over here. Look at the view. Yeah, and very, it's very, very smooth. In this very, way. very smooth, yes. And it's dancing around up there gently, but it's dancing constantly. And the camera view is really nice and smooth. That's really quite amazing. Yeah, 1080, uh, 4K. Yeah, I would say the winds are blowing, I don't know, 810 now. Let's it's bring it up bad. close. Let me show you another thing it'll do. Okay, we're coming back in close here. All right, I told it to stay there. Watch. I'm going to pull it away from the position. It said, oh, no. <laughs> it doesn't like that. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's a... You only moved that, I don't know, four, five, six feet, something like that. It came back with an inch. And right away I could hear it protesting, and that's 
quite fine use of the it's GPS. It's the most system. marvelous of technology I've ever seen. So that you can and it's, I mean, this is six feet away from me. It's, we're easily talking over it. It's just not that loud. And, and we're, oh, let me get into this. Over here. Yeah. I'll go over these people. Oh, okay. But let's land it. So you're just backing down on the throttle, right? Wow. Pretty good landing for uh, a novice there, huh? That's right. <laughs> I pick. Right now, the uh, is she sitting on the ground? You can see the view. Let me bring the camera up. See, there's the concrete, and there she is up wide. Okay. To start it, I simply bring these two sticks together. Okay, back toward the center, I see. And she's sitting there idling. We're actually going to lift off by pushing this, the throttle, forward. All right, Ron, so I'm intrigued by the whole thing, but this business of it coming back and being able to land on its own is just somehow kind of fascinating. And so tell me, how, walk me through the process. Uh, you get some interference somehow and things aren't working out quite right. What do you do? Well, there's several things. Uh, if somebody didn't, you notice it has three green okay, LEDs. Uh -huh. If it was down to one and went to black and he says, oh my gosh, I forgot to charge it. Okay. Then it still has plenty of battery life and it says I'm no longer getting signals from this or some radio frequency interference gets in the middle of it then the procedure is to actually reach down here and turn this off. Just turn the controller unit and off. It can be 200 feet away at 60 feet. It'll stop immediately and it has a procedure where as it climbs 55 feet it assumes if it got there and there were no trees, 55 feet plus will get it back. Okay. So it makes that assumption. All right. So it comes back at it, it, uh, it 50 feet plus the, the 50 is 105. Okay. And it just starts down. Very slow rate of speed, very slow rate of speed. And wherever we told it to come back to, you just stand there and it'll land automatically. Right about in the same spot it within, originally was programmed. Yeah, it, it, it's advertised within within a couple of meters or 10 meters, but it, it I've had it land right on the spot. Is that right? Wow. Well, let's see how many we got. We got uh, 12 satellites, so it would do that. Okay, with that much reception of satellite signal, it can be very yeah. accurate, yeah. you're saying. It's just, and with it's a like, lesser number of satellites, it might be a little further away. Yeah, you, it's like using the GPS in the airplane. You start an approach on a cloudy day and it says five satellites. Right. I'd think that over a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Ron, right. well, that's great. Um, a lot of cool information about this product that you're uh, retailing out of the uh, Spruce Creek uh, Airport there. Where can we get more information about your operation? We own uh, two companies, one in Canada, Toronto, called uh, uh, Drone Depot. And okay. I've just started Drone Depot in the creek. Okay. And it's only a, a few days old, but the website now to get information is www. CreekCubs.com. Okay, Creek Cubs, same place where you're selling the American Legend product. Yeah, it's like you're selling your cohort here to do me a website. <laughs> that's right. You bet. Okay. All right, so that's cool. And yeah. uh, lots more information about all kinds of affordable aviation and now drones as well. Available on buydanjohnson.com. Thanks so much for join joining Ron Bishop and myself here at Sebring.